Hello, 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 hello. Wherever you are on this merciful world called Earth, I hope you are having a transcendent day. Wherever you may happen to be located this day, even or night. Welcome to the channel once more. We back here to learn about Blender and we're here to learn about Blender the compositor. The com compositor and Blender. That's what I want. And I'm not no compositor guru, my dear people. I'm learning the compositor just like you. But fortunately for me, I went to Amazon and I bought a book called Blender for visual effects. Now it explains from what I gather all nodes in version Blender 2.6, maybe 2.7. Hey, I know it's a lot more nodes out now, but if you got the 80%, because there's still about 80% of the nodes in this 2.6, if you got them mastered, the other nodes, new nodes that came out with Blender 2.80 and 2.70, they should be a snap. All right, I'm using Blender 2.82. Like I said before, it's prudent for me to say the version because you all know Blender from time to time change where certain items are located. But fortunately for us, when it comes to the compositor, everything has basically remained the same. You hit Shift A, you click on Use Nodes, and you go to Add Nodes. That hasn't changed since Blender 2.60. From what I believe because I wasn't around then I never used Blender 2.60 but okay let's start today my topic is using the transform node like you I'm learning as I go along like I said I'm not no blender guru guru I haven't been using the compositor a long time I just use it like once in a while like to add little effects to my uh, YouTube video sites but now I'm starting to realize the power of it let me get my little scene up Okay, then let me go to layout. I right, here's my little scene. I try to make a low poly bumblebee, a low poly insect. You get me? So you all see, like I like to show you all, I do have skill at using Blender. I'm just not going to be using Harold the Cube or one of them regular base meshes all the time. Like so many of them like to do, like I said before. How do I know you adapt at uh, using Blender when you never show me... Uh, a mess that you made. It can be something simple. So you all see for my little bumblebee right here. It got, it got a little stinger. My little low poly bumblebee that I do have skill. I do have some imagination at using this blender stuff. Alright, so that's out of the way. Let's go to the compositor. Click on that. You will always you have to click on it. See everybody was in here, so but you if it was empty, you have to click on use nose. That's a given. Also, you will always have the render layer box and a composite layer box. Let me see if I got anything in my render layer. See, it's empty right now. So, to see your render layer, you either can hit F12 or just go to render image. Alright, there's my image. If I go to view layer now, it should be in there. Zap, there got my little bumblebee. Now, most people, they like to add the viewer node. So, let's go up here to add uh output viewer click right here and i said for me personally i don't like to connect the noodles like here to there i like to use the uh the reroute node to make it look a little bit more presentable at least for me there and you see there it is right there now i discovered a, a couple days ago some people they don't like to have the viewer node right here so they may, may open up another window like I'm doing now, they may do that. But I see, I already did it, so they know what to do. But they click right here on this button right here, the editor type, and they click on. I learned from the guy from watching YouTube. Where it say image at? You click on the one that says uh, image editor. That's the image editor. I go up here to uh, browse image linked and choose real node. And you hit V. How do I make this? Oh, you don't even have to hit the um the V key like in a compositor. You just hit the scroll, the middle scroll wheel of your mouse to make it large. Oh, I can pan it too. See, 
So some people don't like to use the real node. They like to use this right here. Since I'm using this to, 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 to lessen the confusion, I'm just going to delete the real node. X. I must give it this little node thing too. X. And I do that. Alright, I hit F. I run it again so it can pop up. I can click off of this because it's doing it in that window. Oh, I gotta go back up here again and choose ruin node. Why nothing happened? Oh Lord. Render result. Okay, so I clicked on render result that time. So you click on render result or real node. It don't you only got two choices, so it's 50-50. Alright, so let me jump right into using that uh transform node. So we go to add. I want to go to distort. And did I choose distort? Where's a transform at? I don't see, oh transform right to the bottom. Here's the transform node, drop it in. Now I'm gonna see if, if it make any I know if I had the real node here, if I make a changes in this transform, it would affect the rule. Let me see. I don't see nothing happen to that uh that image over there to the right. So I may not like that uh image thing anymore. Oh, oh, it's working. It's working. So you see the transform node, it just moves that image around. It doesn't crop it. It just moves it around or it can shrink it. Let me see. See it can shrink it. Yeah, see that shrinking? But it shrink the whole image, not just your mesh. The whole scene. Yeah, the whole scene get done. And that's and the thing I like about that, let me rotate it some more. Okay, I'll make it right. See the and the thing I like about the composite as I keep preaching to you all. Let me click back on my the layout. Nothing has happened to my bumblebee. I'm gonna put it on top mode so you can see. There's my bumblebee in top mode. I'm going to be jumping back and forth from time to time to let you know. See, nothing has happened to it in the composite. Because the good thing about the composite is non-destructive. Alright. So, let me click on... Uh, let me Since the topic is this transform node, I'm going to zoom right into the transform node. So, you can, so we can see it large. Alright. Let me change my X. Okay, yeah. It's moving over to the X. You see that? It's moving over. And the Y should make it go up or down. Yes, it's going down. The angle, you all saw that it rotated. So it's good. For, so this is a this is a very helpful node, very helpful because it got at least four transformations inside of it. All right, I'm gonna delete it because I want to start off from scratch. There, I deleted it. I'm gonna bring it back because I I, I I deleted it because I'm starting to use the timelines. Like I said, I'm learning these composites like you are, and I'm learning I can use the the uh, I can compose it right on that timeline. So let me add my uh, let me connect the render layer back to the compositor. Let me go to add again, distort, go to transform, and this is what I wanted. Let me zoom into it since that's the only thing I know what I'm interested in. Now, what I'm gonna do, good people. I'm going to use keyframes on this and I'm going to render an image then I'm going to disappear then I'm going to come right back all right, I'm going I'm to I'm set all this a keyframe right here for this 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 I want to set my scale I'm sorry I want to stop my my, uh, my image start time to 100 let's make it something nice and short 100 let me move to Right here, 30 in the middle. All right, I'm going to rotate. Uh, let me see. I'm going to move it on my X. I'm going to move it all the way over on my X. Move it over some more. Move it some more. Enter a keyframe. Let me move it over to my... Uh, I'm going to move it to 53. Let me move my Y. Down. Move it down. 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 Down, down, down. Some more, some more. Give it a keyframe. Let me let me jump a little over. Let me rotate this angle. Rotate the angle. Rotate the angle. Rotate the angle. Rotate it some more. Hit, hit a keyframe. 
And last but not least, I'm gonna scale it. Scale. I'm gonna make it larger. All right, I made it larger. Hit a keyframe. So my good people, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna pause the video because I want to keyframe it, and I want you all to see me while I have it. Uh, I'm sorry. I want to make me uh, my animation. And I want y'all to see my animation. So let me stop it. Let me go this up here. I want to stop. All right, welcome back. I've ended the video so we can watch it. And remember, it, it's an actual animation. So we see the power of those nodes. You just don't have to use the node on a final scene. You can use the so nodes to manipulate your enemies with those keyframes. As you're going to see right now. All I was doing using the keyframe. And remember the real beauty of it my good people. Here's the real beauty. That my image, my mesh was never ever touched. So let me run my little animation for you now to see it. Remember, it's only 100 frames. So let's see how it turned out. And you see, that is extremely beautiful. At least to me, it's beautiful. I don't know about to you, but it's beautiful. It's beautiful because the power of them nodes. Like I said, I'm new to it. I'm new. But by the time I'm done, because I try to, I'm, uh, the way I'm going now, I said I make a video once a day. I guess in three months, I may be good with these little node stuff. And you, if you watch the videos in succession, like I said, let me go back to my original, the layout. There it is. See, it didn't move anywhere, and I can prove it to you. Let me see this. Well, anyway. Yeah, nothing has changed. No location has changed. You see that? Well, my mouse said nothing. That's the power of that compositor. See, I'm starting to appreciate this thing. The compositor is powerful. So imagine what it's like in uh, what it's called. Nuke. I know Nuke is supposed to have a more powerful com um, node-based compositor than Blender. But since we open source and most of us don't got no thousand dollars, even if I had the money, I don't want to. I don't think I would spend no money on a. Uh, the application because you know you have to learn it from scratch but anyway if you enjoyed the video on how to use the transform compositor and what it does and what it's for give me a thumbs up if you've got any comments to make you may be a more of a seasoned user of the compositor give me some feedback give me some information on how to use that transform node the thing I like about the transform node it almost functions like a camera. It does. You saw the way it was manipulating the scene. Up and down, left and right. Just like the way the camera does. But of course, in my actual scene, the camera never ever moved. If you want to subscribe for future content, because I'm starting to like making these videos on nodes. And I do other stuff too. Subscribe. Until the next time, Blender, family, mother, brother, sister, uncle, aunt, Blender aunt. Until the next time, peace.